part one of the accident. Also guys, before we get started, I just want to let you know that we have a semi-new family. The only changes are is that the mum is pregnant and there's a new dad named, um, named Jordan. Also, this does mean I'm not going to be finishing the beach roleplay. But anyways, let's just get into it. Ugh, I am so bored. I can't believe dance practice was cancelled again because everybody's sick. Ugh, what am I supposed to do? And this puzzle is getting so boring. I've been redoing it like 50 times. You know, I've always wanted to try horse riding. Mum would never let me, but I'm going to force her. She has to let me because I can't do anything because dance has always been cancelled. I can't be bothered to go downstairs though. I'm just going to call her. She better pick up. Honey, why are you calling me? You're just upstairs. And I'm just downstairs. Well, I can't be bothered to go downstairs. Come downstairs right now if you want to tell me anything. Ugh, fine. Great, now I have to go all the way downstairs. I hate my mom. Oh, hey dad. Hi, honey. Okay, where is mom? Mom? Yes, honey. What are you doing? Finishing up the dishes, which is supposed to be your job. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I really want to do horse riding lessons. What? Don't be ridiculous. You're not doing horse riding lessons. We live nowhere near that type of thing. Mom, please. Dance has always been cancelled. You let the twins do swimming lessons. Because they have to know how to swim. I'm sorry, sweetie, but it's just going to be a no. Mom, come on, please. Just one lesson to see if I like it. Look, I'll think about it, okay? Don't harass me or it'll be a no. Ugh, that's what you always say. Well, maybe if you listened, I might consider. Oh, okay, fine. Can you just make up your mind by dinner? I'll see. Ugh. At dinner. Okay, everybody, eat up. Okay. Mommy, it's really good. Yeah, mommy, it's delicious. Oh, I'm so glad. So. <clears throat> Horses. Um, is something going on here? Like, when have you ever talked about horses? They're just so interesting, aren't they, Mom? Honey, I can see what you're doing. And I haven't decided yet. Mom, please, I've been waiting all day. Fine, you can do one lesson and that's it. I will only let you do it if I can tell that you're actually enjoying it, not just doing it because you're bored. Okay, y yeah, okay. Ugh, I'll ring up the place tomorrow. Can't you just do it tonight? I'm too tired, don't harass me. Okay, 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 okay. Do it tomorrow, that's fine. Taffy! Mom, Taffy just ate my food! Well, you should have eaten it before Taffy got to it. But what am I supposed to eat? You'll find something, honey. But Taffy! Oh? I think it's time we go to bed. Part 2 of the accident. I can't believe Mom actually let me do horse riding lessons. Well, we're leaving in like 10 minutes to drive there. It's like a 3 hour drive. So I need to make sure that I'm entertained. Well, I always need to bring my drink bottle. And of course my phone. Perfume, because I don't want to stink. Huh, I guess that's kind of all I need. Oh, I might bring a spare change of clothes in case I get dirty. I'll bring this as my spare outfit, because it is comfy. Okay, now let's go downstairs. Camilla, come downstairs right now, or we're going to be late. I've heard there's a lot of traffic. Okay, okay, I'm coming, Mom. Mom, I'm ready. I just need to have some breakfast. Oh, shoot, I forgot to make you brekkie. I was so busy getting everyone else out the door. What do you mean? I thought they weren't coming. They're not. They're just going out to a park or something. I don't know. So Millie and Brayden aren't coming? That's what I said. Yes, finally. I don't know how to go on a long car trip with them. Don't be rude. They're your siblings. Now, what do you want? Uh, I'll just have an egg on toast. Egg on toast. Okay, sure. Okay, egg on toast is all done. I'll just give some water. Okay, Camilla, your breakfast is all done. I have to eat super quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Guys, sorry for the background noise. Um, my mom's vacuuming. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah. Okay, so here is your egg and your water. Now eat up. I'm just going to go hop in the car, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll chuck that in the dishwasher. Okay, now let's go. Coming, Mom. In the car. Mom, I'm bored. Oh, we almost there. We still have like an hour left of driving. Stop complaining. But I'm starving. Check in the middle console. We should have some food in there. Ugh, fine. Ew, Mom. We only have dog food and electro chews or whatever they're called. Well, if you don't want to eat that, then stay hungry. But I don't like it. Then be hungry. I don't want to stop for food. Ugh, fine. I'll eat these. You haven't tried them since, like, prep. Just try them. You might like them now. Ugh, fine. 
I have to admit they're pretty good. Exactly. We'll be there soon, honey. You'll be able to eat when we get there. Fine, okay. One hour later. Okay, we're here. Ugh, finally. Okay, let's go in. Ugh, this place stinks. It's just horse poo, honey. Come on. Hi! You must meet Camilla and Marissa. Yes, I'm Marissa and this is my daughter, Camilla. Yeah, yeah. Can I ride a horse now? Um, not quite yet. We're not doing proper riding today. We're just doing a few little training things with your horse. Ugh, that is so boring. We drove like three hours down here. I'm very sorry, but we can't just start you riding a horse if you've never had any experience. Okay, fine. Where's my horse? Just over here, if you follow me. Mom, I thought you said I was going to be riding a horse. I didn't say anything, honey. I think you just had your expectations a little bit too high. Ugh! Okay, so this is your horse. Her name's Sapphire. Oh, um, okay. She's very used to riding newbies who aren't very good. How do you know I'm not very good? Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean that in like a rude way. Yeah, sure you didn't. Part three of the accident. You know what? How about we just get started? That is a great idea. Ugh, okay, fine. So where am exactly am I where exactly am I practicing? Just down here. I'll show you where to drop off your bags. Ugh, okay. You can just leave your bags right here. Your horse has already been groomed, so there's no need to like brush it or anything. Okay. I'm sorry about her. Sweetie, you need to stop being so rude. <laughs> okay, can I get on the horse now? Um not not quite yet. So you're not exactly in the right outfit for horse riding, so I just want you to try this on. Ew, what the hell is this? I'm not wearing this. I'm wearing this. Um, okay, but the hoodie can be really distracting for horses if it keeps flapping around. My hoodie won't flap around. It'll be fine. I'm not wearing that nasty outfit. Honey, you could get, like, really hurt if you don't wear it. I don't care, Mom. I'll be fine. Okay, do it at your own risk. But you will definitely be needing a helmet. Ew, this musty thing? I'll be fine. Trust me. I'll be super careful. Sweetie, I need you to wear a helmet. No. Fine, if you want to be so difficult, I'll pick a saddle. Okay. I'll pick this one. Sure, I can do that for you. And a lead. This one. All right, I'll go get your horse. Sapphire. No. <laughs> okay, so this is Sapphire. Why do you get to ride her? I was just bringing her over here. Ugh, okay. What's the point of putting a saddle on her if I'm not even allowed to ride? You will be able to do a little bit of riding. Just practicing walking back and forth, just so you can get used to it. Okay. All right, but you're not going to be riding her just yet. We're going to do some training. Okay. I'm just going to go sit down. Um, my legs are really starting to hurt. No problem. Okay, so first, I'm just going to show you how to mount and dismount. All you got to do is just kind of swing one leg over and jump on. Okay, now you try. I'll be right here to catch you. Please, like, I'll need your help. See? Easy. Good job. Now hop down. Done. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you how to lead her. Also, another thing is you never stand behind a horse, ever. Okay, whatever. To lead the horse, you just gotta grab onto the reins and just kind of pull them along with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's kind of all you need to know. Now for riding, just gotta jump on and you just gotta kind of lead, lead them. Just very slowly back and forth, okay? No, f like, no fast riding yet. Okay, fine, can I hop on now? Yes, but be very slow as you're refusing to wear a helmet. It'll be fine. Okay, I'll be here to supervise. Yeehaw! Woo! No, 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 stop, stop. I told you not to go fast. Woo! Your hoodie's flapping around too much. It's gonna distract the horse. Please, I'll be fine. What's it doing? Ah! Oh my gosh, I think I broke my leg. Oh my gosh, we need an ambulance right now. What's going on? Oh my gosh, I can see her bone. You can see my what? It's okay, an ambulance is on the way. Oh my gosh. A few minutes later... We're here. What's going on? My leg's broken. It's sticking out. Okay, this is an emergency. Are you feeling dizzy, drowsy? Yeah, I hit my head really hard on the ground. Oof, okay, your head's definitely bleeding. Wait, what? Oh my god. Why weren't you wearing a helmet? I just thought I didn't have to. Okay, well, let's get you in the ambulance. Come on. Ow. Part four of the accident. <sighs> okay, we're here. How's everything going back here? She's in a lot of pain. Okay, we're gonna have to wheel her to the room. Is she gonna be okay? Oh, it'll be fine. It's just a broken leg. But her head's bleeding. Okay, she may have had a fracture in her skull, but we're not 100% sure. We just need to get her to an emergency room. Of course, of course. Okay, I'm gonna run her up to an emergency room. You just need to check in, okay? Okay, I can do that. Okay, we're gonna take your daughter up to the emergency room. Let's go. How's everything going, honey? It hurts really bad. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna go up to the room. The receptionist should tell you what room. 
Okay. Um, hi, excuse me. Hello. I'm just checking in. Sure, what are you checking in for? Are you in labor? Um, no, I'm only like 26 weeks. Oh, I see. What are you doing here then? My daughter just broke her leg. She had a bad horse riding accident. Oh, dear. Okay. Are you just checking your daughter in? Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. And myself. As a visitor? Yes, yes. Okie dokie. What's your name? My name is Marissa Rose. Marissa Rose. Okay. And your daughter's name? Camilla Rose. Camilla Rose. Okay. How old is your daughter? She's 12. Almost 13. 12. Almost 13. Yep. Okay. All right. She is in room three. Room three. Okay. Thank you. What floor? Floor one. Thank you so much. Of course. I hope she's okay. Same. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. Room three. Room three. Oh, down here. Um, excuse me? Oh, Camilla, honey. Mom, it hurts so bad. I think both of my legs are broken. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, but I have to go. I just got a call. Good luck. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie. I'm just going to be doing a checkup on your daughter. A, a checkup? I thought we were in an emergency a room. I know, but I need to check what's actually going on with her. Okay. Well, can we give her pain medicine or something? She's in a lot of pain. I just need to do this checkup first. Well, please hurry. It hurts so bad. Okay, how old are you, Camilla? I'm 12, turning 13 soon. Okay. What's your surname? Rose, Camilla Rose. Shouldn't this be on the system? Right, of course. Now, what exactly happened here? Mum, can you tell her? I, I can't talk, it hurts too bad. Sure, well, Camilla wanted to do horse riding lessons, so we drove like three hours out to go do some horse riding lessons. And Camilla decided it would be a great idea to not wear the correct outfit and decide to wear a hoodie. And when the hoodie was flapping around, it was distracting the horse and making the horse get, you know, all angry. And Camilla also refused to wear a helmet. So she flew off and that's why her skull's bleeding and it's just really bad. She fell off. She got flown off. The horse bucked her off. Wow. Um, okay, yes. And the bone is sticking out. Oh, whoa. What? What? Um, <clears throat> Camilla's hair. Oh, her head is really cracked open. What? Her, her skull? Yes. Wow. Okay, uh, we need to do emergency surgery. What? I'm not doing emergency surgery. It can't be that bad. Your skull is completely cracked open. The nurse said it was just a fracture. I'm sorry, but this is an emergency. Oh my god. We need to get you into surgery right now. <laughs> okay. Part 5 of the accident. <laughs> I'm too scared. I don't want to do emergency surgery. Can't we just stitch me up? I'm sorry, but this is extremely bad. I'm surprised you haven't had any brain damage yet. I'm not going to go into too much detail of what you can see in the back of your head right now. I just need to quickly do a scan. A scan? Are you kidding me? This is an emergency. Exactly, and we need to see if we need to do any more surgeries, because obviously this is quite bad. But I just got flown off a horse. How can it be this bad? I'm sorry, it really just depends. You just got really unlucky. Okay, I'm going to call in a few nurses, and they're going to take you to get a scan. I'm here. Okay, we need to get you in this bed. I'm just going to lift you in. How it hurts so bad. It's okay, we're gonna get everything fixed. Thanks, Stephanie. I'll take it from here. Okay. Okay, honey, my name is Adriana. What's yours? Camilla. Okay, Camilla. Everything is gonna be okay. We're just doing a scan. Just to see if there's anything else we need to worry about. Oh, I know there is. I just know it. You need to wait in here. It's not very healthy to be in the room. Of course. Okay, I'm just gonna lift you up. How are you feeling? Really bad. Okay, well, I'll get to scanning you. Try to be as still as possible, okay? Okay, not like I can move myself. Okay. Oh my god. What? What is it? Look at this. Oh my god. Is that my daughter? Is that Camilla's skin? I'm afraid it is. Well, well, what is it? How many bones are broken? Okay, it looks like both of her legs are broken. Two of her fingers are fractured. One of her arm is broken. The other arm is severely fractured. And she's got a deep crack in her skull. You can see her brain. You can see her what? Okay, this is way more of an emergency than I thought. I thought you said this was just a horse accident. It was. She must have landed funny. Oh my god, she must be in so much pain. Okay, we need to get in her into surgery right, right now. Okay, I'm calling the emergency nurses. We need an emergency surgery. Stat. On it. Okay. Camilla, nothing to worry about. I can hear you guys freaking out. What's wrong with me? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just everything's fine. <laughs> okay. We're just going to take you to get the emergency surgery immediately. Like, right now. But I'm too scared. Camilla, it's going to be okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just going to help you get changed into some scrubs. 
for the surgery. Do you like this pep one? <laughs> okay. All right, let me help you. Sorry, the pep one didn't fit. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, just need to put something on you to cover up your hair. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're gonna go in now. It's going to be okay. You're in very safe hands. <laughs> okay. Honey, it's going to be okay. I'm right here. As soon as you wake up, I will be right there with you. <laughs> okay, mom. Thanks. I'm sorry for being so rude to you today. Oh, honey, it's fine. I'll see you when you get out, okay? <laughs> okay, love you, mom. Is she actually gonna be okay? Oh, I, I hope so. The worst possible thing would be complete memory loss. C c complete? Like she won't remember anything? Exactly, but that's the worst of the worst, and that's a really low chance of happening. But it's still a chance! Part 6 of the accident. Alrighty, honey. Now, it is no reason to be scared, okay? Everything's gonna be just fine. <laughs> okay, are you sure? Honey, I'm 100% sure I've done over a thousand surgeries. And really, none of them really go ever wrong. But, but what if I don't wake up? What if I feel everything during surgery? Oh, honey, don't worry about stuff like that. We have all types of machines to make sure those things do not happen. Okay, okay, I trust you. Okay, let's get you on that surgery bed. Okay, I'm just going to put this mask on. I just want you to cut backwards from 100. Oh, um, okay. Mm, 100, 99, 98, 97, 96. Okay, now time to start the surgery. Wow, her head is really budgeted up. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, gosh. I'm going to need to shave her head. I need to go talk to the mom. Um, excuse me? Excuse me? Hi, are you Marissa? Yes, yes, that's me. What's going on? Is my daughter dead? No, 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 nothing like that. Definitely not nothing like that, honey. Oh, okay, phew, what is it? I'm going to have to shave your daughter's head. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Camilla is going to kill me. You cannot shave her head. She loves her hair. I'm really sorry, but I have to. <sighs> okay, I give you permission to shave her head. Okay, I'm really sorry about this, but I just thought I should tell you before I did it. Of course, I understand. Okay, anything to make sure that she's okay. Okay. Gosh, I feel so bad shaving her head. And she's a teenager. I hope she doesn't get bullied for having no hair, but it must be done that she survives. Well, better start cutting it all off. Oh, first I gotta take this off. Oh, I feel so bad. All right, let's start cutting it off. There, it's done. Oh, I just feel so bad. Wow, that cut in the back of her head is so bad. I better get stitching it up. <sighs> okay, just clean that off. Her head's all done. And I better get stitching up her leg. Because wow-wee, her legs are pretty bad. Okay, now I need to get some bandages and wrap her all up. Okay, let's start bandaging it. <sighs> okay, she's all done. I came here. You said the surgery's done? It's all done. I'm so sorry about shaving her head. I feel just awful. It's okay. It always grows back. And her hair does grow quite fast. Seriously, don't feel too bad about it. Okay, I'm really sorry. She should wake up any minute now. Okay. Wait, Mum? Mum, are you there? Honey, I'm right here. What's, what's going on? Why do I feel funny? Where's my hair? Honey, let's just get you to a room first before I tell you what happened. What? I, where's my hair? Honey, let's just get you up to a room first, okay? I'll tell you everything. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, what happened to her? Shh, let's just get back up to a room. Of course. All of the rooms are on the top floor. How long will I be staying for? Probably a long time. What? How long? Probably a few weeks. Oh my god. At least I miss school. Part 7 of the accident. Okay, we're on your floor, honey. Okay, what's going on? I'm seriously freaked out. What is going on with my hair? You guys won't tell me. Sweetie, just wait a second, okay? We'll tell you. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Please don't tell me you got rid of my hair. Let's just get her to your room. Your room 17. Oh hey, it's my lucky number. Not my lucky number. Come on, honey, let's go to your room. Okay, this is your room. It's just so plain. Well, since you'll be here for a couple of weeks, you'll be able to decorate it. I can bring some pictures from home if you like, honey. Yeah, I guess. So, are you guys going to tell me what's wrong with my hair? Yes, I suppose we will. So, honey, um, 
I'm really sorry, sweetie, and I did agree to it, so you don't need to blame the doctors, you need to blame me. Blame you for what? What's going on? They had to shave your head. What? No, 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 you have to be kidding, Mum. I can't be bold. I'm sorry, sweetie, but if they didn't shave your head, they wouldn't have been able to perform surgery on your head. And they could see your brain. That's how bad you hit your head. You must have fell on a rock or something. Because it full split your head open. I don't know how you fell so badly off a horse, but it was just extreme bad luck, sweetie, and I'm so sorry. But I've been growing my hair out forever. I don't want to be bold. It'll always grow out. That's easy enough for you to say. You're the one with a full head of hair. I'm just going to leave you girls to it. Thank you. Sweetie, I'm so sorry. Yeah, of course you are. Do you want anything? I just want you to go home and get all of my all of my stuff. Of course, sweetie. Do you want me to bring in your siblings? No, I just want to be alone right now. Of course, honey. Do you want some rest? Yes, I'm so tired. All right. Well, you get some rest. I'll go home and get your stuff. <laughs> okay. She just wants to be alone right now. That's understandable. Is it okay if I just quickly rush home and grab her stuff? Of course. I'll keep an eye out for her. My office is right down there. Okay, great. Thank you. Of course. Just make sure to check in with me when you're back. Okay, I will. Okay, finally home. Jordan's probably still out with the kids, so I don't think they're home. Okay, I gotta be quick. I don't want to leave Camilla at the hospital by herself for too long. Okay, first I'll just pack me a bag, obviously, because I might be staying there overnight. I'm not sure, though. But still, my purse. And, of course, gotta bring my tea. Okay, now let's go upstairs. I just need to get me some clothes and then Camilla some clothes and pack Camilla's bag. Okay, they should have toothbrushes and everything like that already at the hospital. So I just gotta get some clothes. Yep, the kids aren't home. Obviously gotta bring something comfy and practical. So I'll just bring this. This skims dress is literally the comfiest thing I own. It's even more comfy than my pajamas. Okay, now let's go get Camilla's stuff. Okay, I think she keeps her bags in here. Yep, she does. Okay, I know she'll want her perfume. And I think these are her favourite pyjamas. Her hoodie doesn't fit. I'll put it in anyway. I'll try to shove it in. That worked well enough. Her phone and her drink bottle. Okay, I think that's all she needs. Now let's go. Part 8 of the accident. Oh, okay, I'm finally here. I don't know why, but traffic was so bad. Excuse me, I'm back. Okay, great. Is she still in her room? Yeah, she hasn't come out. Okay, I'll go talk to her. Sweetie, I'm coming in. <laughs> oh, hey, Mom. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I really am. Do you think I wanted to do this? I had to do this so that you could actually live. Just think, sweetie, if we kept your hair, you'd still have a ginormous bald patch at the back of your head, and you'd have a much less likely chance to survive. I just want you to understand why. It's fine, Mom. I'm not angry at you. I'm just sad. I know I have semi-fast growing hair, but still, I know, sweetie. Well, do you want to decorate your room? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay, I brought some stuff. Let's decorate it. Okay, it's all decorated. How do you like it? I love it, Mom. Thanks so much for trying. Oh, that's okay, sweetie. I just want you to feel at home. Yeah, thanks. How are you feeling in general? Um, tight, sore, aching. Do you want me to go get you any food? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, let me just help you into bed. Okay, what do you want for some food? Anything. I don't mind. I'm starving. Okay, I'll go see you if the nurse has anything. Hi, just wondering what will be happening for dinner? Oh, we'll bring around some dinner. Don't worry about that. There is a vending machine outside that you can get some food from though. Great, thank you. Okay, I think I'll get us some chips, a pear, and some juice. Okay, sweetie, this is what I got you. Um, They did not have a lot at the vending machine. That's okay, thanks mum. No problem, honey. I'm just gonna sit here, tell me if you need anything. Yep, okay. Mom, can I just call my friend? Of course you can, honey. Thanks. I might just go sit out in the waiting room. Okay. I just feel so awful. Hey. Hey, Naomi. Hi, Matilda. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Yeah, are you feeling okay? There's so much to tell you. Want to FaceTime? Of course. Yes, uh, FaceTime. Yeah, this is what I look like right now. Oh my god. What happened to your hair? They had to shave it off for surgery. Oh my god. Camilla, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, are all of your arms and legs broken? Yeah, Matilda, they are. Oh my gosh, that sucks. I know, right? 20 minutes later. I think I'm gonna go get some rest. Yeah, all good. Okay, see you later. Bye, guys. 
I wish I could be spending the weekend with them, not here. Why did I have to not wear a stupid helmet? I've learnt my lesson. I'm never not going horse riding without a helmet. And I'm definitely going to wear the right uniform. At least this has taught me something. For once. Are you Camilla? Uh, yeah, I am. Here's your dinner. Oh, thanks. How do you know I like pizza? Oh, just guessed. Well, thanks. No problem. Hope you have a speedy recovery. <sighs> me too. Ugh, this apple is chalky. Ugh. Okay, let's try the pizza. Why does this pizza taste dusty? Okay, the milk shouldn't be too bad. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna be sick. Nurses, nurses, what's going on? I think I'm gonna throw up. Throw up into this. Blech. Oh my gosh, what happened? I think it's from the dinner you guys gave me. What? I'm the one who's supposed to be giving you dinner. <laughs> Part 9 of the accident. Okay, what did this man look like? I don't know, he had like kind of blackish gray hair and... I don't know, I, I, I wasn't really paying it. <laughs> okay, just take that, I'll take this. Oh my god, this milk has been rotten since 2021. What? Don't tell me that, I'm gonna throw up again. Sorry, I'm gonna go find out who did this. <laughs> hey, you! Oh crap. Yes? Do you work here? Of course I do. <laughs> I'd like to see your official badge. Nurses have badges? Come on, show me. Um, see ya. Oi, get back here. Stop. Ugh, okay, fine. Why did you give Camilla, a random patient, some rotten food? Ugh, because she's the most annoying student ever. She disrupts my class. She makes fun of my bold patches. And she's just annoying. I needed to get rid of her somehow. So you resulted to food poisoning her. Any way possible. Okay, get out before I call the police. Okay, okay. Oh my god, how random was that? Okay, I need to go see if Camilla's okay. Camilla, how are you feeling? I'm still a bit sick. That's okay. I found out it was one of your old teachers. Or maybe a recent teacher. He has bold spots. You make fun of him a lot. Oh, Mr. Swanston. I... I guess. Okay, don't think too bad of me, okay? He just makes unnecessary comments about people. It's fine, sweetie. I'm not going to judge you. I don't really care about that. I just thought I'd tell you who it was. Well, thanks. Is he gone? Yep, he's gone and he's going to be banned from this, um, hospital. Thanks. It's okay. How are you feeling? Ugh, my head's pounding. Can I go to sleep? Of course. Make sure to drink water, but not too much. Otherwise, you'll throw it up again. Yeah, thanks. Okay. So, you have a choice. Do you want your mom to sleep here in a wheelchair? Or do you want her to sleep in the guest room? The guest room, obviously. I don't want her sleeping in that musty chair. Even though my mom's super annoying, I don't want her to be uncomfortable. Sure, I'll go tell her. We're starting to put the patients to bed. Your daughter said that you can sleep in the guest room. Oh, okay, great. Am I allowed to go say goodnight? Of course. The guest room is like right next to her room, by the way. You'll see it. It says guest room on the door. Thank you. Good night, honey. Night, mom. Love you. Love you too, sweetie. Okay, time to go to bed for the night. A few days later. Camilla, you've got some visitors. Hey, sweetie. How are you doing? Dad. Hi, guys. Sorry we couldn't visit earlier. Everything's been super busy at home without you guys. Sissy. Hi, Sissy. Guys, be careful. She's really sore right now. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm really sore. For some reason, the more days that go by, my legs hurt more and more. That's just the healing process, honey. That's normal. And they're starting to get really itchy. Well, that's a good thing. That means they're healing. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's still annoying. Sorry, guys, I just have to squeeze through. Come on, it's your lucky day. We're going to be taking your head bandages off. Oh, great. <laughs> your hair should have started growing a tiny bit by now. So you won't be completely bald. You might have tiny little patches of hair. Great. Okay, let's take off those bandages. Just take your hoodie off, sorry. All right, now let's get those bandages off. Part 10 of the accident. Also guys, I know that this roleplay has a lot of parts to it. So I'm going to try to make sure that I don't add too many more parts. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, let's take it off. Are you kidding me? There's no hair on my head. I mean, there's a few little hairs. It's only been a couple of days. That's actually really good for a few days. Normally that much hair would take a few weeks for an average person. Ugh, I guess that's good. That's great, Camilla. Anyway, I'll give back your hoodie. Thanks. Oh, honey, I still think you look beautiful. Well, that doesn't mean anything because I don't think I look beautiful. I'll just leave you guys to it. I just wish I could have my hair back. We're well, sorry, honey. We're sorry, we sissy, but I still think you're very pretty. Again, not helping. Well, hey, let's try to think on the positive side. At least your hair's growing back really fast. I reckon in a week, it'll be about a centimeter long. Ugh. Sweetie, I really don't know anything about hair, but I do know that each month, 
your hair grows one centimeter. So if your hair grows a centimeter a week, do you realize how much quicker that is? Yeah, I guess you're right. That's actually true. Sorry, I'll leave you do it. Even with all of that, it's really hard to look on the positive side with this. We know, sweetie. But you don't. You really don't know. I just want to be left alone right now. Oh, but Sissy became all this way to see you. Please, just leave me alone. Come on, guys. Let's just give her a time. Okay. Bye, Sissy. Bye. Bye, honey. I just wish my hair would grow back. This is so stupid. But it is my fault. It's only me to blame. Ugh, <sighs> whatever. One week later. <sighs> I look like a boy. I just wish all my hair would grow back. Hey, honey, we have a surprise. Is mum coming? Oh, no, sweetie. Sorry, she hasn't called. Why did she have to leave me to go back to work? I'm sorry, sweetie. I think your dad might be coming to visit today. Well, I guess he's coming. Wow, your hair is growing insanely quick. It's only been one week. Ugh, whatever. I don't care. It's still not as long as I want it to be. Well, in about a month, it'll be up to your shoulders, like my length. Great. A whole month? Honey, that would take, like, average people, like, six months. Longer. Way longer. Wow. Wow, okay, um, anyway, the good news is, is that we're going to be taking your arm casts off today. Because your arms weren't badly injured, it was mainly your legs, so we're going to be taking those off today. <gasps> really? Finally, I can use crutches and not a stupid wheelchair. Yeah, so would you just come with me into my office and we'll get them removed? Uh, can I need you on the wheelchair? Oh, of course, let me help you. Alright, let's go. Okay, just get you up on the bed. Now, don't worry, the saw will not be able to cut into your arm, because the blade isn't spinning, it's vibrating. So it actually won't be able to cut you. Okay, this is the saw. Let's start cutting these things off. Okay. All right. Perfect. Oh my god, that feels amazing. I can finally scratch my arms. Okay, I'm going to go get you some crutches and I just want you to try them out. Do you know how to use crutches? Yeah, I had crutches in like year three. Okay, I'll go grab them for you. Okay, so here are the crutches. Cool, thanks. Wow, you really do know how to use them. You okay to go back to your room by yourself? Yeah, I should be fine. Do you know what time my dad's coming? Let me check. He's coming in an hour. Oh, okay, great. Oh, I feel bad for that poor kid. Part 11 of the accident. Hey, honey, just came to visit you. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, Millie. Hi, Sissy. I wanted to come too. Well, thanks for coming. Oh, thanks for the balloons. Of course, I thought I'd bring balloons because I found out that you're getting your cast removed. Oh, only my arm ones. Oh, well, that's okay. At least you can properly use your arms now. Ugh, oh, I know, it's such a relief. Sissy, when are you going to come home? I don't know, I hope soon. I've only been gone for a week. She said a couple of weeks, which hopefully means only one more week. Wow, your hair has grown so quickly. Ugh, why does everyone keep saying that? Can we just get off the topic of my hair? Sorry, honey, I'm not saying it is a bad thing. That's actually really great. Yeah, yeah, I know. Can we just stop talking about my hair, please? Sure. So, what do we do? Let's just talk. We haven't talked in ages. Okay, sure. Also, when's mum going to come over? I'm not sure, honey. I just want you to know, she's been really sad that she can't come see you. She's also been really anxious that you're, like, feeling upset that she's not coming. But she is really busy at work at the moment. Which isn't great, as you're in hospital. And yes, she has tried telling work that you're in hospital and she needs to come see you, but they just won't let her out. It's fine, at least she's trying. Two hours later. Alright, honey, I think we should probably get going. <sighs> it's okay. We'll come see you in a few days. A, a few days? I don't want to be alone for a few days. This is isolation. You could try to make a friend here. I'm good. Well then, sorry honey, but everyone needs to get to work. Wow, it's so great to know that work is more important than your daughter in hospital. I told you, sweetie, we've been trying to contact our work. Then leave anyway, I'm in hospital. Like, are you kidding me? I'm really sorry, honey. You know that me and, my, me and your mom love you so much. Yes, I know, just get out. I want to I wanna be alone. Alright. Bye bye, sissy. Bye, Millie. Bye, sweetie. Oh, I probably shouldn't have yelled. Ugh, and I guess my dad is right. I should probably make a friend. Ugh, great. Nurse, what's going on? I was wondering, can I go down to the children's ward? Sure, how come? Ugh, because I want to make a friend. Oh, that's great. Let's go. Okay. First, I just need to do a really quick checkup just to make sure you're okay. Ears look fine. Heart beats good. That's all good. Let me just check your head. Okay, still a pretty big scar, but luckily your hair's growing over it, which is really great. Yay, my hair. I know you don't like talking about your hair. Come on, let's go. Ugh, have fun. Wait, ugh. Hi, what's your name? My name's Alicia, what's yours? Camilla, so what you doing here? I have lung cancer. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it sucks. And thanks to all the chemo, I have no hair. Oh my gosh, how long are you gonna, not gonna have hair for? As long as the chemo goes for. Whoa, and I thought me being bald for like a few days was bad. So what are you here for? Oh, I was in a horse riding accident and I like cracked the back of my head open and broke all of my bones. Well, just both of my legs and both of my arms. Whoa, that is so cool. Really? Um, hello, that is like the coolest thing I've heard. And I've been at this hospital for a while. Oh, cool. Wanna draw with me? Yeah, sure. So how old are you? Ugh, I'm 15. What? Really? I know, I look really young. How old are you? I'm 12, I'm almost 13. Whoa, that's crazy. I thought you were like 10. Yeah, most people do. Part 12 of the accident. Camilla Rose, please report back to your room. Oh my gosh, I have to go. I'm so sorry, Alicia. Nah, it's okay. Hey, I hope you get better. Same, I hope you get really better as well. Hey, I can write down my phone number. That would be great. There, just message me and call me whenever you want. Okay, sounds good, thanks. No problem. See you soon. Yeah, bye. <sighs> I wonder what they want me for. What's going on? Time for bed. What? That's seriously what you called me for? I was having a really great bond with my friend. I know, but you gotta get rest for tomorrow. There's like, exciting stuff happening. Ugh. Fine. Good night. Good night, Camilla. It's weird that she thinks it's early. It's literally like 9 o'clock p.m. Maybe that's early for her. Well, I can't wait to tell her the, the news tomorrow. The next day. Oh, I ran here as soon as I heard. Hi, so glad you can make it. Camilla has no idea. Yeah, I thought so. So she's going to be admitted from the hospital today? Yep. I'm taking off all of her casts. She should be fully he healed by now. But it's only been a week. Oh, right, sorry. So the broken leg that had the bone sticking out will still need a cast on it. But the other leg should be fine as long as she's really careful. She'll still need crutches though. But she can't like run on that leg at all. No running. And she'll have to stay on the crutches and still be really careful. Because the bone will be quite delicate, but it's not delicate enough for a cost. Okay, cool. I'm going to go wake her up. Camilla, honey. <gasps> Mom, you're here. Of course I'm here, silly. Doctor has excited news for you. You're getting released from the hospital today. Really? I thought I was getting released in another week. I know, but you're healing so well. You'll still need one cast on your leg there, but we're going to remove the other one. Okay, sure. All right, let's do it. You remember the drill, right? Yep, my great friend, drill. All right, well, let's start drilling. Okay, you're all good. How is your leg feeling? Ugh, kind of sore. Yeah, that's normal. You have to be super careful on that leg, okay? Yeah, okay. There we are. Crutches. Thanks. That's okay. Ouch. Ouch. It shouldn't hurt in about a day. Also, she doesn't have to go to school for the next few days if you don't want to send her. Unless she really wants to... Nope, I'm good. I'd rather stay home. Okay, sure. She can go back next week, though. Okay, noted. Can I get out of this nasty gown now? Yeah, of course. Finally, fresh clothes. That feels so good. All right, well, good luck, Camilla. Remember, be very careful on that leg. Yeah, I will. Okay, well, bye, guys. Bye, thanks. Thank you so much for everything. Of course, get well soon, Camilla. Okay, let's go home. Everybody's waiting for you. Okay. At home. Okay, let's go in. Coming. <gasps> Finally, home sweet. <gasps> you're home, sissy, you're home. Yay! We're so glad you're finally home, Camilla. You only saw me yesterday. Yeah, but still, we're all so excited. Aw, thanks, guys. We miss you so much. I miss you guys, too. My sissy's home. My sissy's home. All right, guys, clear a path. Camilla wants to get to our room. Thanks, guys. Hey, okay, guys, this is the end of the roleplay. Also, in the next few roleplays, Camilla's hair will be slowly getting longer. It's not going to stay at this length forever. Don't worry. But yeah, see you guys for the next roleplay. I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.